All right. Paz Pazarski, lovely to have you here. And thank you so much for coming on board the CX Career Accelerator. Um, so excited to have a leader in the community management space on board. Um, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about yourself and the community collective and, and what you do? Yeah, of course. And thanks for having me as well. I'm super excited to be here and can't wait to meet everyone and, and help them on their way. So for context, uh, my name is Paz Pazarski. I'm the co-founder of the Community Collective. And for the past six years, I've really been working in the intersection of helping people start businesses and startups and community building. So a bit of context about my background and how I ended up as a business owner in community building. I started out uh, really in the not-for-profit sector. So I was really driven by social causes and I was really leaning into sustainable fashion and helping migrants and asylum seekers. And I joined Sister Works and I helped them build an in-person community of migrant women who were looking to happily settle in Australia and really understand how they could actually get a job here. Because usually when migrants come to Australia from other countries, their their qualifications are deemed irrelevant. So we, re we were really connecting this community and helping them find the skills to start their own business in Australia. So that was the first taste of community and helping people build businesses that I had. And from there, I joined RMIT Activator, which is a university uh, in the Melbourne CBD. And really, I joined them to start their entrepreneurship department. So RMIT Activator is the heart of entrepreneurship at the university. And I joined them when it was pretty early days. So they didn't really know what they were doing, who they were, who they were serving. And I joined and I helped them run 10 accelerator programs for founders uh, in the social impact space and then also designed and launched an online community for them and helped them grow that from 500 to 5,000 members over three years and then throw in a co-working space, all the things in person, events, meetups, you name it, I was doing it. And after that, I realized that I wanted to branch out from the university sector and actually help anyone, not just students, staff and alumni. So I joined Startup Victoria, which is Australia's largest startup community. There was over 60,000 members uh, in that community, which is wild. So we were helping people from the stage of, I just had an idea in the shower, like, what do I do now? To the businesses of the world who are earning over a million dollars in annual reoccurring revenue. So your link trees, up banks, who gives a crap? We were connecting their founders at monthly dinners to really dive deep into conversations at that level. So what I really learned there was how to manage an online community at high scale, high growth, and ran over 150 events ranging from a five-person dinner to 5,000-person um, pitch nights online and in person. And during that time, I noticed that I had been a community manager for a while, but what is a community manager? I'm sure we'll kind of unpack this together, but I noticed that, you know, people who were really front facing in these roles who were tasked with connecting members in a business for a community, it was really draining. Throw in a pandemic in, you know, for two years and put everyone online and at home alone. It was really hard being a face of a community and I felt the challenges of that. I had a lot of struggles myself and I didn't really know who to turn to. So I asked a lot of people to introduce me to anyone that they knew who were building communities, specifically in the startup space in Melbourne, super niche. And I spoke to about 50 community managers in a week and I asked them what their challenges were. What were their struggles? What are they trying to achieve? And we had so many similarities and crossovers that it was just so obvious that we all needed to connect in the one room. So in June 2021, we organized a meetup in between the fourth and fifth Melbourne lockdowns in a fluke week when everything wasn't shut down. And we got together as 17 people in person in Melbourne and the energy was insane. We all were connecting and trying to help each other in our roles and you know, fast forward to today, we have 450 people in that free meetup community. Our registration link got shared virally across Australia and New Zealand. And that was enough for me to actually quit my full-time job last year in July, register the community collective as a company and now run it as a full-time business. So today our mission is to support community builders to build strong communities and create a space where they belong. 
and we do that through our free meetup community where we run a meetup online and in person every month, an eight-week cohort program, which Alex went through last year and a lot of other members are going through now. We've got 51 people in the second cohort and really we're helping them build a strategy for a community within a business. So I love my job. I'm a community manager who's built a community for community builders. So my life is pretty meta. And on the side, I also write relaxation music for meditation and film as I have my own music brand, which is Paz Sounds. So, all right, is that enough um, intro at the moment? Yeah, that's perfect. Um, thank you so much for introducing yourself, Paz, and helping everyone get to know your background a little bit more and, and, and what you do. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. 